Hey guys, Super Sonic One Two Three, aka John here. Welcome to episode twenty-eight of the Everton Career Mode. In today's episode, we've got two massive games for you guys. So hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, we play Arsenal at home in the league, and then the Champions League. We go away to Ajax to play in Amsterdam. Uh, so uh, hoping to get some good results here. Uh, of course, in the last episode we had three games, and this episode there's only two. But I tried to squeeze as much in from each game as possible because there was quite a bit going on. And this game against Arsenal here at, at the start, Ramsey trying to go around our defenders, picking out Danny Welbeck, and he shot a straight at Tim Howard, so no problem for us there. Then Kieran Gibbs uh, attacks us, finding Aaron Ramsey, and his shot goes well over the bar, well off target from Aaron Ramsey there. And then uh, into the second half, then Arsenal would uh, try and get it, get us again. Santi Cazorla's shot saved by Tim Howard down low, and then um, then Arsenal will try and attack us again. A bit of a uh, mishap there, and uh, the Arsenal man managed to get in the header, although he, sh he shouldn't have. But then Dan Andri I keep calling him Danny Carrillo, and it must be Carrillo D in his initial, it's Andre Carrillo, and he picked out his man there who was um, who missed, and then Andre Carrillo himself gives away a penalty, so that's nice. Um, I'm trying to see who it is, but uh, he goes in for the fly tackle on uh, Werner, or something like that, it's a, not a real Arsenal player, and uh, it gets taken down, and it's given as a penalty. So Alexis Sanchez against Tim Howard, and Alexis Sanchez dispatched from the spot, 1-0 down, Everton 0, Arsenal 1, not what we wanted in this big league game, that's a chance to show our medal against one of the bigger teams in the league, and, if, and we go 1-0 down, so that's not nice, but um, yeah, it was... Very good penalty from Alexis Sanchez, right into the top corner of the net. No chance for Tim Howard there. And uh, Everton nil, Arsenal won. And then um, Arsenal will tr uh, try and extend their lead here. Olivier Giroud going for goal, just wide of the post. And that's how the game will finish. Everton nil, Arsenal won. Unfortunate to lose that game, of course, in my own opinion. But um, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. And we have some player training here. Our three players getting along nicely for the month, that is, anyway. So here is our youth squad. I, I decided to, to offer contracts to Dylan Burge and Michael Johnson. And you can pause and see their potential and all that uh, there if you wish. And then checking out our uh, scout who's, who's in Northern Ireland, Ireland and England. And uh, not many of them had a lot of quality players on Joker. Let's get the Ireland guy too. And this England guy, you know. We play a large youth squad and we have a lot of good young talents, but um, I don't want to saturate it with too many kind of good players. That's not really what I want. But as you see, um, the two players whom I uh, offered contracts to to join the senior squad both um, both looked very good. And, and for the second and final game of today's episode, we take on Ajax away in Amsterdam. The Amsterdam Arena, of course. Us and Ajax being the only uh, teams in our Champions League could have their stadiums in the game. Four who don't have theirs, and Trap and Spore don't have theirs, but uh, that's how it goes, I guess. Um, so this is the Ajax lineup. And, um, yeah, Ajax is a decent enough team, but uh, of course they they did come second in the air division this season, second to PSV for the second season in a row, and then we're playing our average subbing line with the exception of. Uh, no, never mind. Um, so our average starting lineup for this game, except um, it was an injury to James McCarthy, so we had to replace him with Lewis Cook. James McCarthy after three months, which sucks. But um, Ajax will get this their first attack of the game. Victor Fisher, who in real life has just signed for Middlesbrough, or has signed for Middlesbrough, trying to find the corner, but saved fantastically by Tim Howard. And then um, we would uh, attack Ajax in the break here. Romelu Lukaku picking the ball up, going past all the defenders. It cuts inside uh, Rienwald here, and he just tries to slot it into the back of the net, but it's saved by uh, Sillison, I believe it is. Um, then we would uh, try and attack him again. Romelu Lukaku again, cutting inside the defence, looking at his options, finding Mohamed Besic, and Mohamed Besic finds the bottom corner to make it Ajax nil, Everton 1 in this Champions League game. Quality finish from Mohamed Besic, the Bosnian international gets his goal to put us 1-0 up um, against the Dutch side. Great finish there from Mohamed Besic. And uh, Ajax 0, Everton 1. Uh, he's not a natural goal scorer, Mohamed Besic, but he 
has popped up for us here and there, and this being one of those times, and of course, greatly appreciated his goal there. So then Ajax would uh, retaliate, and the ball comes into the box, and it's hacked over the bar by Victor Fisher. Again, no wonder it's Middlesbrough that's going to sign him. Ooh, roasted. Uh, so then uh, Romelu Lukaku threw on goal, uh, shot is saved, and then the follow up. Uh, is uh, blocked by Mohamed Besic again. Uh, and then Ajax, it's a very end to end game. Jordi Klaassen, no, Klaassen, uh, the shot saved again by Tim Howard. So, uh, very end to end affair. Tim Howard having one of the games of his, of, of his life there. And um, we would attack Ajax again uh, with 10 minutes to go in the half. Gerard de la Fe trying to lob uh, the goalkeeper. I don't think it was Hilton actually, I apologise. But but look at this. Gerard de la Fe tries to go for the chip, but the keeper. Uh, he was nearly caught out by that, the keeper. It's not Jasper Silson, but um, tipped it over the bar just about. And then uh, a missed throw in by de la Fe. Barkley would get his room. He saves and. He shoots, and it was saved by the goalkeeper, and Andre Carrillo tried to get it back in the box, but to no avail. Ajax would then come at us again. Um, cross comes in, and I don't know who got the header. It looks like it was Jack Yelk with the defensive header, but it had to be saved by Tim Howard anyway. And then Victor Fisher would shoot wide with one, with, uh, one of the last chances of the first half, half here. Victor Fisher having a lot of chances in this first half. The Middlesbrough signing, keep going back to that, I know. Uh, but um, then uh, at the, the end of the half, Romelu Lukaku goes through the shoot and is fouled, and it's a penalty for us this time, which is nice. Um, it was a good shot in the end, but uh, the follow through by the tackle from your man uh, ends up getting him, and uh, it'll be a penalty for Everton. And Romelu Lukaku would take it. Romelu Lukaku would score it. Ajax nil, Everton two at half time. Uh, Lukaku going to the camera to celebrate his goal. We go 2-0 up against um, against the Dutch powerhouse uh, away in Amsterdam and it was a fantastic type of finish from Romelu Lukaku. Similar to Alexis Sanchez's penalty in that Arsenal game I found, but maybe that's just a coincidence. And um, for the second game in a row, a goal scored by a penalty. One was against us uh, in that Arsenal game and this one is for us. So then... Uh, uh, Ross Barkley in the second half would slide in uh, Romelu Lukaku and Romelu Lukaku shot would find the back of the net and Romelu Lukaku would make it Ajax nil, Everton 3 we're pouring the goals down on the, on the Dutch team now we went 3-0 up against Porsche as you might remember in the last episode we did uh, concede two goals and it ended up being a 3-2 victory for us but uh, we went up, we'd go up 3-0 again and this time against Ajax away from home Romelu Lukaku set through Fantastic finish, no chance for the keeper, right into the corner. Defenders, you know, sagging off him. You sag off your swags off, to quote Chris Smooth there. But um, anyway, uh, Melo Kaka makes it 3 0 to Everton, which is uh, lovely. We would try to make it 4 0 then, with uh, only a few minutes remaining. Mishi Batshuayi off the bench, set through, shoots just wide. He tries to adjust his footing for the last second. And it almost works out from there, Mishi Batshuayi, who in real life has gone to Chelsea. Uh, Conte must be fond of him. But it finished Ajax nil, Everton 3. And in tomorrow's episode, or the next episode, we play Sunderland and Tottenham, and possibly Porto in the Champions League. So we'll see you for that uh, tomorrow.